Jazzy and in today's video as you guys can see by the title I'm going to Jamaica I'm going to spend a few days with my grandma um, this is the first time I'm traveling alone not just out of the country but just traveling by myself other than to go to like school and work so yeah this is the first time I'm traveling out of New York by myself um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys and turn on your post notifications so you guys can know when I upload another video my father's going to I'm going to Jamaica. Okay y'all, so this is me finally touching down in Jamaica. I didn't get a chance to record my plane taking off because I didn't have the window seat. Um, I had the aisle seat and the person on the other side had the window closed. Um, so this is just me driving from the airport and we're heading to get something to eat because a girl is starving y'all. I had oatmeal that morning, I got up early and I had oatmeal. And I was getting like chest pains from the gas building up. Okay, so I had two thighs, fries, a biscuit, and a cola champagne. And it slapped y'all. It was so good. It did me justice. But it wasn't enough because the girl was hungry, like I said. So that was like a snack to me. We're in Kingston and we're heading to go see my grandma's sister. And then we're gonna head to the house, but I didn't record any of that stuff. So I'm gonna just fast forward it and you guys are gonna see like, we're getting back home like when it's dark out. Yeah, I don't know who said if you could drive in New York, you could drive anywhere. No, if you could drive in the Caribbean, you could drive anywhere, anywhere, you hear me? Cause these roads <laughs> is a bad, do you hear me? It's and there's no spacing the cars drive literally on top of each other the only time i really seen like a stoplight when i was in jamaica i've only um was in kingston in st thomas the cars drive next to each other i don't see no stoplights i don't see no sidewalks i don't see nothing you hear me just they just gotta use their discretion when it comes to like turning off onto a road because there's no stop sign said i haven't seen a stop sign in st thomas and like i said the cars drive like directly next to each other one going up one going down okay so i finally made it to my grandma's house and these are her little puppies they are so adorable look at them prince xena and rambo <laughs> y'all see the one on the left that's barking y'all he barks so much and he always trying to bite somebody so the whole time i was down there i did not pet him not once because every time i try to pet him he tried to bite me oh it feels so good to be inside finally after getting up so early and just being out all day after you know touching down in Jamaica I didn't really get any sleep on the plane or anything so a girl is tired so I'm just going upstairs um and yeah I'm gonna show you guys the room that I'm staying in which is my father's room so y'all gonna see his picture up on his dresser so this is just the top floor just a little quick little glimpse as I'm going to the room and this is the room y'all so i'm such a dog lover i ended up coming back downstairs to play with the dog just for a little bit and then i went back upstairs took a shower and of course went and laid down because like i said a girl was tired but when it comes to dogs i'm gonna find a little energy <laughs> but they are the cutest look at them oh my gosh 
I just love, love, love them. Okay, so the next day, guys, my grandma made cornmeal and macro for them. So she was telling me to feed them so they could get used to me or whatever, feeding them. So this is me just carrying the bowl. But look how they get, y'all. They do not play about their belly. So after I finished feeding them, it's time for me to feed myself. And my grandma made this yummy breakfast, Aki and Selfish and Plantain. So this is just my grandma here. So we're about to just sit, eat breakfast, and chat a little so bit. So y'all, I didn't really do anything this day. I was inside for most of the day. My aunt had came off of work, and she was like she was going by the market. And we decided to come out. My cousin and I decided to come out with my aunt. And we came and got some jerk pork. Y'all wanna tell you it slapped, it slapped. So this is just me here enjoying it, y'all. I could do with some jerk pork right now. <laughs> well, no, it was really good. And of course, you know your girl went to bed after that, but this is the next day. My grandma's making breadfruit. Oh my gosh, I love me some breadfruit. And yeah, like, I haven't had breadfruit in a while, prior to this so this is my plate for breakfast i have red fruit bacon and egg y'all so we were um in the house most of the day and my grandma decided that we're gonna go out for a little bit and we decided to go to fish cove y'all let me tell y'all about fish cove okay like this is just us we decided to take a cab there When you go in there, you tell them like how you want the fish to be done. It's not like it's already made and it's sitting down waiting. You have to wait for them to prepare it. That's what I really like. So we ordered brown stew fish festival. My grandma had plantain and festival as well. But y'all, this is the food right here. When I tell you the food was so good, y'all. I'm so sad I only went there once, but definitely when I go back again to Jamaica, which is going to be soon because I'm like, why didn't it stay at least a month? But when I go back again, I definitely have to go here, y'all. The food was amazing. 10 out of 10, like real good. The only thing is obviously you have to wait a little bit for them to cook it. But after y'all no street lights do y'all see how dark it is and we were trying to get a taxi to go home it took us a little minute to get a taxi and we finally got a taxi and we was packed in there like sardines you hear me my cousin i had my cousin sitting on my lap one man went in the trunk and there was a man to my left and my grandma was on my right and my cousin was on my lap and there was two people in the front So when I got home, of course, you know, your girl took a shower, went and laid down. So of course, this is the next day. I'm having breakfast with my grandma. Again, I had breadfruit, eggs, and bacon. And y'all, that was the first and last time that we took a taxi out there. Okay, y'all, so after that, I had an interview for a job online. And so I was inside most of the day. This is me later on at night. And I'm heading out with my family. And we're going to my father's friend, my mother's birthday party. So this, I had, um, I went and I had curry chicken and rice and this is just me sitting with my aunt and my cousin y'all by the time i get home a girl be knocked out that road is so bad but this is us we're heading to the beach y'all i didn't walk with no bathing suit so i decided to go to the beach with my tank top and some 
and my biker shorts y'all tell me why we bought a beach ball and we blew it up well my aunt blew it up and then we played with it for a little bit and then it started to deflate and we're like oh wow it had a hole in it but anyways if this is me the water was type cold it was salt water of course so you know you guys know my skin was burning my face was burning well everywhere was burning because the salt water you know it was it was doing what it was supposed to do okay y'all so after your girl done exhorted all her energy it's time for her to eat and gain back that energy so my grandma made um pork and rice and peas so we're just setting up and we're gonna get ready to eat y'all look at them playing soccer in the background it was a nice little beach a nice little calm day out calm vibe it was nice i enjoyed the beach day this is the food this is just me um telling them what i want and my grandma made corned beef and bread y'all i love 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 me some corned beef so y'all about to see me stuff my face because like i said a girl was hungry i'm always hungry what am i not hungry but gotta maintain this size so i need to eat <laughs> Look how these dogs were swimming around me. Like, they was hoping I'd drop a piece of meat or something, a rice grain or something. <laughs> but, anyways, I'm done with the water, so I let out my hair so I can air dry and it don't stay wet and start to smell. Because the girl still got into washing it, but I just needed to air dry. And so, now that we're all finished with the beach, we're heading to get some ice cream. So I think my grandma said this was like the first hotel ever in this side of Jamaica. I believe that's what she said to me. <laughs> Yo, my memory is a uh, but. Anyways, we're on our way to get ice cream. Y'all, 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 y'all. This is pretty. I don't remember what she said that was. So I, I just recorded it, but now that I'm thinking back, I'm like, damn, maybe I should have made a little note or something. But like I'm saying, we're on our way to get some ice cream. I'm over here thinking I'm about to get grape nut ice cream, y'all. I go in there, they only got like three flavors. And I'm like, you call yourself an ice cream shop? Like, yeah, no. It's the ice cream for me. Um... <laughs> But my family ended up getting ice cream. Me and my cousin didn't. So this is us back at the house. I'm over here eating candy. I told myself I was going to lay off the candy. But it was calling my name. And who am I to say no? And so my dad was telling me about these donuts. And that's Jamaica apple. And so I'm here trying it. Y'all, I don't know. Maybe I waited too long to eat it. Because I didn't eat it right away when my grandma got it i gave it some days so it wasn't all that anyways after that my grandma made jerk chicken and i'm about to tear that up because a girl is hungry like y'all and then here she had uh, made plantain and dumpling and then she made um I forgot what she made. I think that was like chicken neck or chicken back or something. Chicken something. And <laughs> this is my plate with 
the plantain dumpling and jerk chicken so now that i'm finished with that and i have so energy I'm gonna come over with my little cousin and dye the back of my hair and yeah then i'm thinking about doing my makeup look with something to like kind of match it if i have the colors i'm gonna do it and if not i'm just gonna do something simple but i definitely want to do a makeup look so yeah i'm gonna go down my hair the back like i said and then come back and do my makeup because i'm in that side today i'm not going anywhere and here excited okay y'all so this is just the utensils we're gonna be using and so this is my cousin she's gonna part my hair and we're gonna figure out how much of the back to i want to dye y'all don't mind my face it's breaking out but yeah so she, this is just her part in it and we're gonna fast forward Okay, y'all, so this is how it ended up coming out. I love it. I wish I had dyed more of it. Okay, y'all, so this is the day before I leave. And my grandma decided that we're gonna, you know, spend the day in Kingston. So this is us just driving around. We're heading to get some ice cream. Okay, y'all, remember the last time I said we went to the ice cream shop? And they only had three flavors, so here we are at Devon House. Y'all, they had so much different flavors. I was able to finally get my grape nut ice cream. Y'all, look how big in here is and how clean in here is. Yeah, you know, they got every flavor that you could think of. Like, every flavor. And like I said, your girl decided to go with grape nut. I haven't had grape nut ice cream in a while. Like, in a long time. And of course, your girl enjoyed every, every, <laughs> every drop of that ice cream. Even down to the cone. It was like that good. So, you guys are about to see me enjoying my ice cream. Like want to tell you guys it was so good it was so good look at all that ice cream y'all and it was definitely filling thanks grandma look at my grandma y'all my uncle and my cousin <laughs> so now that we finished we're gonna head over to the bakery Y'all, so I looked up at the screen. This case looking mad good, but let me tell you, I looked up at the screen. Why I see it says Aki and Sawfish Patty. Yes. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing, but these days everything is a thing. Look at this restaurant right here. It's an Italian restaurant. And right on my right hand side is the Emancipation Park. And. We're just gonna go inside. We're gonna look at some of the statues and just chill for a little bit until it's time for us to go get something to eat. Yo. Okay guys, so after we left here, we went to Rivets, which is on the waterfront, and we decided that we're going to sit outside being that it's a nice day, and this is us outside. Look at this water, y'all. Oh, here looks so beautiful. 
The weather is so nice. At first, they didn't want us to come out here because they were saying like the water is rough and it's wetting up the place. But we decided to check it out for ourselves. So this is the menu. And I was looking at the different stuff to see like what I really wanted. Um, so I'm just looking through the menu. And as you guys can see the prices. So I just went with the Rasta Pasta, Shrimp Rasta Pasta. And y'all, y'all about to see it in the next slide. This is it. Um, it was not good at all. It came out cold. This is a drink I had order, but it came out cold and it's like they put pepper sauce at the bottom of it on the shrimp. Like it was just trash. Y'all, despite the food being trash, I had a grand time that day. I enjoyed myself, and that was the day before I leave. So then we went home next day. My grandma had to pay some bills at the post office. So here we are at the post office. And now we're heading to the airport. Of course, you know, you're gonna have to stop and get some ice cream. And then I had KFC and headed to the airport. And this is me getting ready to touch down in New York. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And turn on your post notifications so you guys get notified when I upload another one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.